Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a calculated field in an Excel 2007 pivot table. What's a calculated field? A calculated field is going to be a field that we create inside the pivot table. We'll create a calculated field because we don't have that field in our original data source. So we've already begun work on our pivot table and we realize, and our manager points out, we don't have a field for the price per case. It was not in our original data source. So our pivot table is created off of this data source with the four fields. We have the shipment date and you can see we have multiple products that were shipped on that date. We have the value for each of those products and the number of cases for those products, but we're missing a field over here, which be a calculation for the price per case. Well, since we've already begun work on the pivot table, there's no need to go back and change our original data source, especially if month after month we're going to be getting our data source coming in with only those four fields. So we can create a calculated field on our pivot table. Now, before I do so, do you notice the number of blank spaces? Remember that not every product was included on every shipment. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come in and put zeros instead of having these blank spaces. We do that by selecting the pivot table, come over here into pivot table tools options and select pivot table options. What I want to do is for the empty cell values where we have blanks include a zero. Now we're going to be coming back to this because when we create our pivot table calculated field, we're going to have a number of divide by zero errors. So we'll come back here. All right, here are our zeros. We're ready to create our calculated field. Once again, we return to the Options tab in the Pivot Table Tools. From Tools, we select a formula to create a calculated field. Let's give it a name. And now let's create the formula. All Excel's formulas, even in pivot tables, begin with the equal sign. So we're going to be selecting field labels. So it's going to be the invoice label divided by cases. And click Add and now click OK. So now we have a new calculated field that's been added. We have our price per case. At this point, to make a cleaner pivot table, let's remove the invoice value here. Now, I warned you that we would have those divide by zero errors, so let's go back and correct that. Options, pivot table options, and over here in the dialog box, what we want to do is put a check mark here, and for error values, show zero. I could have put a blank in there, but now I have zeros in there. All right, so here we're seeing our price per case. So we can check the seasonality. Bananas commanded a high price here, but quite a low price in this month. So it's a good way that we can see the seasonal fluctuations on these prices here with our calculated field. Now, if I don't like this label sum of price per case, that's easy to change. All I have to do is right mouse click on any label, come down here into value field settings and what I want to do is I want to get rid of that ugly sum of price per case. Now before I click OK I'm going to get an error unless I make one change. I'm going to add a space after that. So my real name is price per case space to distinguish it from the field that's in our pivot table. Alright now when I click OK there's my price per case shipment date and I've created that calculated field with a couple of mouse clicks. So there you've seen that you are not limited to the fields that exist in your source data. You can create any number of calculated fields to suit your needs. It's a couple of mouse clicks and there you've learned another tip and I'll see you in the next lesson.